I am Joel and welcome to Keep Your Enemies Close, the show where best friends get to take part in some incredible challenges. But not all the challenges will be alongside each other. Oh no, they'll be ruthlessly mixed up and forced to play alongside their enemies. Could you turn your enemy into a frenemy? Let's meet the four pairs of best friends who are willing to do just that and put their friendship on the line. They're all in The Mixer. First up, a Tom and Megan from Tamworth. Then, Karis and Ryan from Port Talbot. And Katrina and Natalie from Aberdeen. And finally, Tyler and Raj from Derby. Let's see what makes these best friends tick. That's Megan. And that's Tom. Uh, I'm 12. And I'm 12. Uh, something really funny happened today. We was like, waiting for the train, and then the train came past really fast, and then Megan's skirt lifted up. <laughs> it was so embarrassing and really funny at the same time. And it went like my fault. The train sort of like just washed by. But me and Tom are really good friends, and we love watching movies. We're from Tamworth, and we're here to win. She's Paris. And he's Ryan. I'm uh, 11. And I'm 10. We move all the bedrooms around and we make dens. But we, so we hide from my, my mother when she comes in. Karis trumps a lot. We stink as well. I do not. Well, you do it as well, actually. But not as much as you. You have a point. We're going to win because Silver's the best. Yeah. And I'm good at mental challenges. And I'm good at physical challenges. Hi, I'm Katrina. And I'm Natalie. <laughs> we're both 11 years old and we're from Aberdeen. We've been best friends for about six years now. We love having sleepovers, and we love the same music, and we love the same fashion. We love playing football. We play for the same team, which is our school team. And this is our celebration. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna win. Yeah, we're just gonna win. His name's Tyler. And my his, his name is Raj. We go to the same school and we get up to a lot of mischief. We love having sleepovers, watching movies, getting our parents annoyed. We were trying to scare them put, with putting makeup on their own faces. We forgot to wash it off and then Jazz, his dad, he told us off in the morning. It didn't yeah. work. We're the pinks and we're gonna crush the other teams. Well, don't they just seem lovely? Well, they better not get used to hanging out with each other because all too soon they're going to be torn apart by the mixer. But more of that later. It's now time to put the best friends through the first and possibly last challenge they'll face together. Here, not only will they gain a psychological advantage, but they'll also gain a unique reward. This, the hand of friendship. And that can be the difference between winning and losing if any of the best friends make it to the final as we play this. Tube Strike. He will be able to see just how well the best friends work together. They'll start in one corner and then have to roll across some pretty tricky terrain. They'll then try and strike down their team coloured target. Although that's not possible on its side, they have to flip up the tube in order to do so. Only once it's hit the floor can they then roll back into the middle, flip up their tube once more and strike down the one and only winning red balloon. A big bang here will mean a big victory, plus the all-important hand of friendship. Keep your friends close. <laughs> Four tubes rolling in, one big collision. Purples, Katrina and Natalie break free, followed by Blues, Tom and Megan. <laughs> Top left, Silvers, Karis and Ryan strike their target. So to the purple. No, no, okay. Silvers, they've a shot it. Purple tube strike. Well done. <laughs> Katrina and Natalie, let's have a look at your winning moment one more time. The purples took a nifty route around the scrum. Bang! What was your tactic there? Well, basically when we hit into the other team. We decided to flip the tube over, then go round instead. It was successful. You went flying in the middle there, <laughs> and you've won this. The hand of friendship. And this, if you are to make it to the final, could be the difference between winning and losing. Do you think you can make it to the final? Yeah. yeah. Why? 
Because, because we're determined. <laughs> Determination. Well, whether Katrina and Natalie make it that far remains to be seen, because very soon the best friends will be playing against each other. Before each challenge, the mixer will mix up the best friends to create new pairs of frenemies, two people who don't know each other. The frenemies will have to put any differences aside and work together in order to win. After each challenge, the losing pair will be eliminated and sent back to the mixer and locked down. So four pairs become three, then three become two, until only one pair remain. The winning pair of frenemies split and release their best friends from lockdown. Reunited, they will face the final to win. Keep your enemies close. So, even if one of the best friends gets eliminated, the other best friend has to keep on winning in order to get to the final. But to get that far, they're going to have to work pretty closely with some enemies. Right, I think it's about time we cranked it up. First pair of frenemies out of the mixer is Tyler and Megan. Next up is Tom and Natalie. And Katrina and Ryan. And that can only leave Karis and Raj. So the mixer has been at work and it's created our first groups of frenemies. Let's see what's going on here. So we've got Tyler and Megan. Now, Tyler's favourite sport is football. Whereas Megan reckons she's best at shot put. Let's hope she doesn't kick any shot puts. Now, Tom thinks he's most like a chipmunk because they're fast and naughty. Whereas Natalie thinks she's most like a cat because she's flexible and likes sleeping. Then we've got Katrina and Ryan. Now, Katrina thinks boys can't take anything seriously. They can, but Ryan thinks girls are always late. Uh-oh, friction alert. Ooh. And finally, we've got Karis and Raj. Now, if Karis could be a celebrity for a day, it would be Christopher Biggins. Whereas Raj, he'd be a footballer and be Lionel Messi. Interesting, look at that. They're both ready to move, but can they move their way to victory? The last pair of frenemies to complete this challenge will be eliminated as we play this. Air pressure. This is air pressure. Here, the frenemies will be using powerful blowers which have the ability to move up, down, left and right. In the battle arena are nine balls. The object is to keep your gutter clear while trying to blow the balls into your opponent's gutter. And when time is up, the frenemies with the most amount of balls in their gutter will be eliminated. Work together, guys. Help each other and keep your gutter as clear as possible. And remember to keep your enemies close. 45 seconds on the clock. The secret is to aim and hold those blowers steady. Slightly erratic blower work from Tyler and Megan and their gutter is in trouble. Quick, blow them away. The other frenemies can taste victory and direct all their blowers at Tyler and Megan. Amazing! Best friends Pink's Tyler and Raj are battling against each other. Three, two, one. <laughs> OK, time's up. Right, let's have a look and see who's got the most amount of balls in their troughs. Right, Tom and Natalie, your gutter is clear. Karis. And Raj, right, you've got one ball in your gutter. Now, Tyler and Megan, you've got one, two, three, four, <laughs> five. And Katrina and Ryan, your gutter is clear, which means, unfortunately for you, Megan and Tyler, you have been eliminated. Let's have a look at the replay. The balls seem to have a strange attraction to Tyler and Megan's gutter and kept rolling in. Successful frenemies, if you'd like to head back to the mixer. But for Tyler and Megan, these guys went for you. It is the blame game. Who's to blame for this? Her. Oh! One minute, one minute. So you're pointing at each other. Tyler, what did Megan do? She didn't defend really very well. Well, I think I did. You let Raj go and get it all in the gutter. 
Oh, so your best friend, your, I saw Raj, he was going for you like something chronic. He wanted to get you out, it seems. No, I hardly got anything down there, and look, there's five balls here. Well, guys, you fought valiantly. In the end, it seemed like everyone was, was against you. Unfortunately, you're headed to lockdown. It's lights out for Megan and for Tyler. They'll be relying on their best friends to keep on winning. Only six players remain. The first pair of frenemies out of the mixer is Karis and Natalie. The next pair out of the mixer is Tom and Ryan. And the final pair out of the mixer is Katrina and Raj. So Megan and Tyler go into lockdown and they'll be relying on their best friends to win them back. Let's see what the mixer has done, what frenemies has it created. We'll start with Karis and Natty. Now, Karis' favourite food is instant noodles, whereas Natty loves nachos and hot dogs. They're all fast foods, but will they prove fast at problem solving? Tom and Ryan. If Tom could take one item to a desert island, it would be a nice big cake. I love cake. Cake's well nice. A luxury item, though, isn't it? Whereas Ryan would take everlasting water. Now, that is practical. Could practical versus luxury clash? We'll find out. And finally, we've got Katrina and Raj. Now, Katrina thinks boys smell bad. They don't. Whereas Raj thinks girls squeak too much. So remember, one pair of frenemies will be eliminated as we play this. Cube. Here is half a cube, and over here are three giant pieces that will complete the cube. Here, the frenemies will have to work quickly and efficiently in order to get these pieces over there to complete the cube. Remember, the last pair of frenemies to complete the cube will be eliminated. I bid you good luck. Keep your enemies close. A good tactic is to really look at the gaps in the cube first. They've all gone for the pink piece. But who will slot it in first? <laughs> Katrina and Raj are on the right lines. See if it's green one be alive. See if it's green one. Oh, but then they discarded that pink piece. Crazy! <laughs> Keep trying all the different permutations. That yellow piece does go on top. Good news for Tom and Ryan. Tom and Ryan are close. Just one piece away. But which way does it fit? Karis and Natalie have caught up as well. Look at that teamwork, working together. Oh, no, it don't fit. Do it again. The last That's piece is one. always the harvest. This one. This one here. Right, everyone is now on the yellow piece. Yes. Tom and Ryan have done it. They've completed it. You oh, cute. <laughs> Katrina and Raj have really caught up. It's now all down to this final yellow piece. So close. Yes. Katrina and Raj have completed it. Oh, but for Karis and Natalie, let's have a look at where it went wrong. Although they were the first to fit the green piece, they got flummoxed by that last yellow one. Natalie, who was leading this? Well, we were both... I don't think we spoke to each other enough, and that's why we didn't get it finished in time. So you think it might, might have been a, a case of lack of communication? Yeah. But fear not, because your best friends are still in the game, so you've got a good chance of getting back in the final. Do you think they can do it? Yeah. But for Karis and Natalie, at the moment, you're headed to lockdown. It's lights out for Natalie and also for Karis. There are only four players left. Mixer, do your thing. And the first pair of frenemies out of the mixer is Katrina and Tom. And they'll be facing Raj and Ryan. 
So Natalie and Karis join Megan and Tyler in lockdown and all four of those best friends will be relying on their other best friends to get them back in for the final. But let's see what the mixer has done. What frenemies has it created? Tom and Katrina. Now, Katrina could be anyone for a day. She'd be Beyonce, because she'd like to be tall for a day and also a good singer. Can she shake it like Beyonce? Let's have a look. Shake it like Beyonce. She certainly can. But Tom wouldn't be anybody else but himself. Raj and Ryan. Now, Raj rates his hand-eye coordination 10 out of 10, because he's really good at computer games, whereas Ryan is less so sure. He's more of a 6 out of 10. Will they be able to get their hand and their eye in gear and get the right result as we play this? Push on through. In this wall are 22 yellow rods and 22 red rods. The aim is to push as many of your team coloured rods through as possible. You have 60 seconds to do so. At the end of that 60 seconds, the team with the most coloured rods on the opposition side will win. Raj and Ryan, you'll be pushing through yellow rods. And Tom and Katrina, you'll be pushing through red rods. Now, this is big. Your friends in lockdown are relying on you to get them back in the game and in for the finals. Are you ready? I bid you good luck. And remember to keep your enemies close. <laughs> what would you do? Block them or bash them through? Quick hands from Tom. Looks like there's still a lot of reds in that wall. Katrina pushes those yellows back to where they came from. 30 seconds remaining. Uh, Ryan's revenge time. It's sweet. And now it looks like they're concentrating on defending. Really chucking the rod through. It's a clever tactic. It's further for the enemies to go and retrieve them. We're down to the crucial last rods now. Three, two, one. Stop, stop pushing through. Come round here. Join me. Join me. OK, we're going to have a look at a replay while we count them up, but it looks... Almost too close to call. It was a real ding-dong battle. Right, it was really, really close. Uh, I was just going to say now, the, the, ones in the, the rods in the wall do not count as we push completely through. So one team managed to push through seven rods. And the other pair of frenemies managed to push through 15 rods. And the winner, the team who have won, is... Tom and Katrina, you won. Yeah! You guys, you were so close. It just didn't go your way. But you fought valiantly to the bitter end. Well done. You're, you're, in my eyes, you're definitely not losers. How do you feel? All right. Yeah. No, you, should, you did so well to get this far. You did brilliantly. But for you guys, you've won back your best friends plus a place in the final. The final. The best friends have been reunited. Now, Megan and Tom, what's it feel like to be back together? It feels better. It's fantastic. It feel, now, do you feel you can keep on winning and take home the glory? Yeah. No, no one says no. One, what, Tom, why do you say no? You're not confident? No. Well, Megan's confident. Maybe she'll carry you through. Negativity, leave it at the door. Be positive, all right? Now, Natalie and Katrina, you have started, we started brilliantly. You won the hand of friendship in Tube Strike. Let's take a look at your victorious moment once more. It was a flip and a bang. It's tense in here, because it is the final. On this grid are the words, keep your enemies close, final. There are 15 different letters in those words. A letter will be lit up and a category will be given. You will then have to give me two correct answers, starting with that letter from that category. For example, if the letter was E and the category was profession or job, your answers could be engineer or electrician. There's loads of answers that you can come up with. You'll have five seconds to give me two correct answers, and this is the sound you'll hear when time is up. 
Two correct answers will send your enemies along that track, heading towards those chutes up there. Chutes filled with slimy, disgusting, horrible clag. If you fail to give me two answers, then you yourself move along the track. Your aim is to get your enemies to that clag barrier right there. Natalie and Katrina, you won the hand of friendship, and that is good as a correct answer. And if you want to use that, you have to say the words hand of friendship within the five seconds. Now, Natalie, Katrina, you start. Are you ready? Let battle commence. Your letter is... E, category, pop star or band. Your time starts now. Hand, hand of friendship. friendship. Just in the nick of time, you use the hand of friendship early, which means that Tom and Megan, you move along the track. Now, the answers you could have had were Enrique Iglesias, Eminem, popular singer, and mum and dad's favourite, Elton John. But use the hand of friendship. OK, here we go. Tom and Megan, are you ready? Your letter is... P. Category. Girl's name. Time starts now. Poppy. Penny. Petal. Poppy and Penny will do two good answers, which means it's even Stevens. Natalie and Katrina move along the track. OK, here we go. Are you ready for your letter, Natalie and Katrina? It is... L. Category. Country. Time starts now. Luxembourg, Lithuania. Brilliant. Two fantastic answers, which means Megan and Tom move along the track. OK, Megan and Tom, your letter is... R. Category. Food or drink. Time starts now. Time's up, your mind went blank. You could have had raspberries or a rosti. <laughs> Natalie and Katrina doing really well. OK, can you continue in the same vein that you've started? Your letter is... F, category, it's a good one. Girl's name. Time starts now. Fiona... Phoebe. That's a P. Time's up. As I said, Phoebe begins with a P. You only gave me one correct answer, which was Fiona, but you could have had Francesca or Fran, but it's coming to you now. But it means that you move along the track. That's good news for you, Tom and Megan. Are you ready for your letter? Yep. Here we go. Your letter is L, category, band or pop star. Leona Time Lewis. starts now. Leona Lewis. Lamar. Brilliant. Two fantastic correct answers, which means it's all square once more. OK, Katrina and Natalie, you need to get this right. You need to get back in the winning groove. Your letter is... S. Category. Food or drink. Time starts now. Sweet corn... Sprite. Correct. We're going to take that as good answers, which means Tom and Megan you're back along that track. It's getting tense. We're heading ever closer to that clag barrier. OK, Tom, Megan, your letter is... A, category, country. Time starts now. I don't know. Algeria. Asia. Time's up. Asia is unfortunately a continent. You gave me Algeria. That would have counted if you just followed it up with someone like America. Argentina, Australia, you'll be kicking yourselves. So this means Natalie and Katrina, if you get this right, you'll send your opponents smashing through the clag barrier. It's nail biting stuff. You ready for your letter? Here we go. The letter is P, category, British town or city. Time starts now. Time's up. Your minds went blank. You could have had Portsmouth or Plymouth. So unlucky. Which means, Tom and Megan, you live to fight another day, but you need to get this right. Otherwise, the girls can send you in. 
Are you ready? Your letter is... K. Category. British town or city. Time starts now. Kingsbury. Kettlebrook. No. Kingsbury and Kettlebrook. That's two correct answers, which means it's all square. It's time for a time break. Bring on the buzzers. Tie break. So it all comes down to this, best friends. Just like before, a letter will be lit up and a category will be given. But this time, I only need one correct answer. Buzz when you think you know the answer. But if you don't give me a correct answer immediately, the question will be handed over to your opponents. Does everyone understand? OK, here we go. The letter is... R. Category. Animal. Blue team buzzed. Oh. I'm going to have to pass it over. Purples. Rabbit. Rabbit is a correct answer, which means you send Tom and Megan smashing through the clay barrier. And you've earned the right to send them in. <laughs> so, Katrina and Natalie, in the end, it came down to a rabbit but you've earned the right to send these guys through the Clag Barrier. Anything you want to say to them? Well played, but the purple power's better. <laughs> 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 Nothing to say, but I think it's time to send them in. You didn't have anything to say to the girls before. Anything you want to say to them now? I'm going to get back. They're going to get you back. I'm going to get out of it. I'm going to leave you guys to it. Well done! Bish! Bash! Bosh! Katrina and Natalie victorious. Now, you started winning and you haven't really looked back since then. What was your highlight of today? Tube Strike. Yep, definitely. Tube Strike. <laughs> you were brilliant in Tube Strike. And I think you've proven to the nation that you are indeed the best of friends and well deserving of our special solid silver keep your enemies close medallions. A right and a left make a winning pair and you really are deserving of them. So congratulations and well done. So remember to keep your enemies close but your friends even closer.